I love me some Vietnamese pho. But making this stuff takes for So let me show you a faster way to satisfy your pho cravings. Without involving Grubhub, that is. First things first, take two and a half ounces of rice noodles and soak them in hot water. Okay, while the noodles do their thing, let's get to work on the broth. And, well, I'm not gonna pull any punches. If this broth really does take 30 minutes to make, that means I cut some corners. And I did. We're gonna be using pre-made beef broth for this. Add 64 ounces or eight cups of beef broth. And you think I'm just gonna simply heat up beef broth and that's it? Buddy, you are so wrong. Then add two cups of water. Bear with me now. Now let's add in some aromatics. Add half an onion, quartered. Two ounces of ginger topped widthwise like this. One head of garlic with the bottom chopped off like this. And finally, our spice bag. What's in it? Well, first things first, you'll need a spice bag. Purchase link in the description. Anyway, you'll need 10 to 12 cloves, one cinnamon stick, snap it in half so it can fit inside the bag, two star anise pods, or anise if you suffer from severe brain damage, two bay leaves, and a tablespoon of fennel seeds. Now this, this is what's gonna make our pho broth. Bring it to a boil. Okay, once it okay, once it hits the boil, drop the heat down to medium low and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Good morning, Vietnam! Pour the broth through a colander and into a smaller pot. And once you do that, rinse out the old pot then fill it up with water because we're going to use it to cook the rice noodles. Okay, with our pot now filled up with water, bring it to a boil. Okay, once it comes to a boil, add our rice noodles in. And cook it for two to four minutes. Okay, after two minutes, turn off the heat and transfer everything to a serving bowl. Oh, and a quick note, um, go for something a bit on the big side. Anyway, using a pair of chopsticks, just layer on our meat. Oh, and a quick word on the meat. Make sure you buy meat that's made for hot pot or shabu shabu. That way you don't have to worry about undercooking your meat. Okay, with our meat on top of our noodles, let's return to the broth. We just need to add one more ingredient, fish sauce. How much? Well, it depends how salty you like it. I'm going to leave that up to you. All right, when the broth is to your liking, bring it to a boil over high heat. Okay, all right, once it hits the boil, reduce the heat down to medium low. Then here comes my favorite part, ladle the broth on top of our meat. Oh, hey, I didn't have my microphone properly plugged in. Anyway, top it off with your normal pho toppings and dig in. I'm going to end it right now before it gets even more awkward. This has been Chase Cunning Kitchen. I'm you know who, blah blah blah, making cooking fun. Roll the credits.